everyone, it's Nicole, and today I'm bringing you my OWL's TBR. So there is a magical readathon happening the entire month of April. It was created by Book Roast, and I will leave her channel in the description along with the announcement video and everything you need to know about this really cool readathon. I am so excited to be a part of it this year. Last year I wasn't able to participate but this year I'm going for it and I'm super excited about the OWLs and then the newts as well. In her TBR video she has links to documents that she created that are just amazing. I have them all printed out here. So first you have your letter from Professor McGonagall. Dear student, your OWL examinations will commence on the 1st of April. Please find the main revision topics enclosed within this letter in hopes that they will guide you in your preparations. This is just fantastic. I mean, having this printed out <laughs> and this font, this letterhead, and then when you get into like the career guide that she created, honestly, it's like it's like you're at Hogwarts and about to take your examinations. And that has always been a dream of mine. And I know for a lot of Harry Potter fans as well. So this is, just, <laughs> this is just amazing. So these are the topics. So each subject has a prompt and you would take the prompt and have a book to it. I think she said in her video that unfortunately you weren't able to double up on the prompts because you need so many to get your OWLs if you're going for a, a specific career. And then once you do that, those prompts are advanced when you go for your newts, if you're gonna be participating in the newts readathon as well. So I think she said you can't double up prompts on books. So each prompt needs to be its own book. The next thing that she created here is the Wizarding Careers Guidebook. And this is 27 pages of careers thoroughly thought out and the OWLs you need, also the newts that you will need to pass to be that specific career. This is just, you guys, I'm telling you, this takes time and thought and time. This is just, look at this, just amazing. The artwork, putting everything together. I am flabbergasted and impressed. She is amazing. So the career I chose is Curse Breaker. And I just thought, oh, as soon as I saw it, I didn't even have to read the little blurb. As soon as I saw it, I'm like, that's me. So it says, this is a highly adventurous occupation all to do with removing curses, hexes, and jinxes from illegally bewitched objects or places. One of the major employees for curse breakers are banks. Banks often confiscate or inherit many objects that have been begrudgingly cursed by a previous owner, and thus they require curse breaker abilities daily. It goes on, but I don't want to, you know, um, bore you. Um, so, and then it also has key traits here. Precision, excellent memory, thoroughness. Two out of three. For your OWLs, it tells you which classes you have to get an outstanding or pass to become a curse breaker. So, my topics are ancient runes, arithmancy, charms, defense against the dark arts, potions, and transfiguration. So, that being said, I have my TBR all ready to go. It's back here. So, I typed out my TBR and put it on one of those little notes uh, pages that it was like an extra page at the end if you print out the Wizarding Career Guide. And it'll have kind of, um, I don't know if you can see it, but I don't want to spoil you with my, um, my book choices. But it has the um, Hogwarts crest um, on the like lightly on the page and I thought that was super cool. So, I know I'm explaining this badly, but I'm just super excited and I... <laughs> okay, so the first topic is ancient runes and that 
prompt is a retelling. So read a retelling. And for that one, I'm going to be reading A Curse So Dark and Lonely by Bridget Kemmerer. Kemmerer? I think I'm saying that right. Um, from what I've heard, that this is a Beauty and the Beast retelling. So I'm going to be reading that one. Put it back in my new book cart. The next course is Arithmancy, and that is work written by more than one author. And for that one, I'm going to be reading Cocktails. And this is a cocky collective. For those of you who were on Twitter or followed um, this hashtag Cockygate last year, you'll know what this is. For those of you who didn't, some author in the romance community tried to trademark the word cocky. So no one could use it in titles or series because that was the name of her series. So it didn't work out too well for her. This is an anthology of authors that have um, works with cocky in the title or the series. And when people bought this book, all net profits will be donated to authors already impacted by creative obstruction. 10% went to the authors. And Romance Writers of America, RWA, which is a very big organization in the romance community. 90% went to RWA for a as a general donation intended for their advocacy fund. RWA helped a lot of romance authors who were affected by Cockygate get lawyers um, settled, you know, dis, um, any kind of legal dispute that they had with the person who was trying to do this. So, of course, I wanted to help out any way I could, so I got this gigantic anthology. And honestly, <laughs> oh, this is obviously work written by more than one author. I don't know why I'm doing this to myself. How, f oh my God, the print. Spoiler alert, this is toward the end, but look at this print. It's tiny. Holy, okay, okay, 802 pages. Oh, it's floppy. Okay, I don't know why I'm doing this to myself, but I'm gonna read this book because I've had it, you know, for a while now. I'm probably, I gotta, I gotta do it because if I don't read it, I won't pass. And then I won't be able to take my newts and then I won't be a curse breaker, so. I gotta read this. Okay, so this is for my arithmancy course, work written by more than one author. Probably gonna regret that. God, that's heavy. Ugh. Next one, charms. And for that course, the prompt is read an adult work. And again, for that one, I'm gonna read The Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon. I'm gonna be buddy reading this with one of my um, in real life book club members and Kelsey over at Hardback Haven. And again, chunky book. I don't know why I'm choosing the chunky books. Honestly, I probably didn't think this through all the way, but look at this cover, it's gorgeous. But I probably have to do something like this with the cocktails just to be able to, I, if I read a little bit every day, I'm gonna have to do that. Because these two books, just right off, did you hear that? Right off the bat, these two books, holy moly. It's gonna test my superpower, y'all. Okay, my next one is Defense Against the Dark Arts, Reducto, title that starts with R. So for that one, I'm gonna be reading Roar by Cora Carmack. I've read one other book by Cora Carmack and I can't think of it right now, but this was recommended to me by Elliot Brooks. I love the cover. It's gorgeous. Oh, I like that. I like that purple. Oh, it's gorgeous. And honestly, I'm glad it's not even over 400 pages. All right, next one, potions. And the prompt for that is next ingredient, read a sequel. And for that one, I'm gonna be reading Siege and Storm by Lee Bardugo. This is the second book in the Shadow and Bone trilogy. I read Shadow and Bone, I wanna say two years ago, and I did like it, I just never moved on. So for, with this prompt, I think this is just perfect. So I can finish this trilogy and finally move on to Six of Crows. 
Next course is Transfiguration. Sprayed edges or a red cover. Now, I think, I honestly think I only have one book with sprayed edges. I've read that book already. So I have to read a book with a red cover. So for that one, I'm gonna be reading The Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Adier. I mean, I don't really know a whole lot about it. I just know that I really like this cover. Um, so if you've read this book and you loved it, hated it, let me know in the comments because I'm going in, I'm going in really blind here. So that's it. That's all that I need to uh, be a curse breaker. And just because I'm an overachiever, I am going to do all the other courses as well. So here we go. The next course is astronomy and that is read a book with star in the title and that is Stars of Fortune by Nora Roberts. I've been trying to read this book for a while guys. I think I put this as a book in a previous TBR for a readathon but I ended up choosing something else and then I tried to make it a pick for my Romantics at Heart book club. No one voted for it so I'm on my own I guess but I really love Nora Roberts. <laughs> love this cover. I love it so much. And um, so I really cannot wait to read this. The next course is Care of Magical Creatures. And the prompt for that is to read a book with a land animal on the cover. And for that one, I'm going to be reading the one and only Ivan. And there is an elephant and a gorilla. Slowing it way down. This is a children's book, hopefully. Oh yeah, this is not going to take me very long at all. And that's what I like because I have two very chunky books in my TBR. <laughs> You're so sweet. Okay, get down. You're not even supposed to be standing up like that. Okay, lay down. The next course is Divination and read a book that is set in the future. For that one, I'm going to read The Darkest Minds by Alexandra Bracken. I was supposed to read this before the movie came out. I didn't end up doing that. I still haven't seen the movie, so it's all good. Um, don't really know a whole lot about this other than what I've seen in the trailer. So I know this was hyped, I think, a little while ago on booktube. So if y'all read it, let me know because I, I want to know how it is. The next course is History of Magic. And the prompt for that is read a book that has been published at least 10 years ago. And for that one, I'm reading The Last Unicorn by Peter S. Beagle. I'm really mad that happened. I was trying to take the sticker off and it just ripped part of the cover off. And it's such a pretty cover. This was originally published in 1968. So I think that qualifies. I don't know anything about this. If you've read this book, let me know in the comments what you think about, what you thought about it. I was like, holy moly, 1968. I did not think it was that old, but. The next course is Herbology. And um, the prompt for that is to read a book with a plant on the cover. And for that one, I'm going to be reading Coming Up Roses by Katherine Anderson. I really love Katherine Anderson. I've had this book for a while, but it is a historical romance. I know you can't judge that based on the cover, but it has roses on it. So there's your plant. And the last course is Muggle Studies. And for that one, the prompt is to read a contemporary. And for that one... I'm going to be reading The Sweetest Thing by Jill Chavez. This is the second book in a Lucky Harbor series. We read the first one for the Romantics at Heart book club, and that one was called Simply Irresistible. Loved it. Glad to be continuing on with the series. Alrighty, so that is my TBR for the OWL's Magical Readathon happening in April. If you liked my video, give me a thumbs up. Comment below on um, what you're planning on reading or if you're participating in the OWL's readathon. I would really like to know and watch your TBR video. And I am so excited for this to start April 1st. And you can follow me on all the social media platforms. The links will be in the description box below. I'll see you next time, Avid Readers.